Good morning guys, today is Thursday the 14th of May and today is our, and this is our English lesson. Uh, what we're going to need is exactly the same as the stuff we've been using for the last few weeks. Paper, your orange book if you have it, and a pencil. And if you're doing the challenge, it's continued from Monday, so it's the same art supplies you've been using. Pause the video here, write down the date, and if you have a ruler, underline it. Right, our spelling for the week is our irregular plurals. Remember, a plural is more than one, so you've got a singular and you've got a plural. These are irregular, so they're not normal because we have to change quite a lot of the endings. So we've got calves, knives, loaves, shelves, wolves, men, people, mice, and children. Choose a spelling activity or just copy them down. Pause the video and do your spelling. Okay, our spelling task. Correct the sentence by using the correct plural. Now this time, I haven't made the words bold because you're gonna to have to investigate and see which word has been spelled incorrectly or which plural hasn't been used properly. So number one, the wolves hunt at night. Number two, there were lots of calves on the field. Number three, two mouses ran across the floor. So pause the video here, write the sentences down, try and correct my mistakes, and then when you come back, we will correct it together. Number one, the wolves hunt at night. So it sounds right, but the spelling's not correct. It's W-O-L-V-E-S for wolves. Number two, there were lots of cats on the field. Again, it sounds right, but the spelling's not correct. It's C-A-L-V-E-S. And number three, two mouses ran across the floor. It doesn't sound right when you say it because the singular is mouse, but the plural of mouse is mice. So we get M-I-C-E. Two mice ran across the floor. In our spelling, punctuation and grammar, we are learning to using the a, a, and the. So this question here, true or false, the paragraph below has four incorrect articles. So it means that it's used the, a, or an, incorrectly four times. So I'm gonna read it, and I want you to listen out for any mistakes or see if you can spot any. Klaus, a engineer, received a distinction award at an university. It was a honour for him to receive a award from the chancellor of the university. The ceremony lasted an hour and once it finished, lots of people came to congratulate him. He then went to take pictures in the courtyard with his family. Now what I want you to do is you can copy it down and look for any mistakes or pause the video here and see if you can notice any as you say it out loud. Right, let's go over it together and see how many mistakes we can find. So Klaus, a engineer. Now engineer has got the vowel sound at the beginning, so it should be an engineer. So that's one mistake. Received a distinction award at an university. Now even though university begins with a vowel. It's not got the vowel sound at the beginning, so it should be a university. So that's now two mistakes. It was a honour for him. Now that there's a vowel sound at the beginning of honour, so it should be an honour. That's another mistake. It was an honour for him to receive a award. We've got the vowel sounds. An award, so it should be an award. And that is now four mistakes. An award from the Chancellor of the University. The ceremony lasted a hour. Now, we've got the vowel sound in hour, so it should be an. That says now up to five mistakes. So because it's tally marks, it's a diagonal line. And once it finished, lots of people came to congratulate him. He then went to take pictures in the courtyard with his family. So true or false, the paragraph below has four incorrect articles. It's false because it's got five mistakes. Okay, remember for main English, we are summarizing. We are learning to summarize information 
using subheadings and bullet points. Now the last, over the last few days, we've done different gods, we've covered different gods, sorry. We've looked at Zeus, we've looked at Hades, we've looked at Artemis, and we're now on our last god, we're going to do four, and this is Athena. So the first thing that you need to do to start with is to make your subheading. So write Athena, underline it, pause the video, go and do that. Now in purple, I have my introduction to who Athena is. Just a quick sentence. Athena was the patron god of the city of Athens. So you need to fast forward ahead in the video and use the paragraphs I give you. Use your own knowledge from school or do a little bit of research on who Athena was and write your first sentence. So pause the video, go and do that. And to complete Athena, we're going to use some bullet points. Now I've wrote in my first one, Athena is often pictured as an owl. That was one of the animals that she was quite well known for turning into. You can use the same one as I have and come up with two of your own, or fast forward in the video, use the information there, use the information that you learned in skill, or you can do your own research. And when you've finished Athena, you've got the subheading Athena, your sentence, and then three bullet points, make sure you take a photo or some evidence of your work and you upload it to Class Dojo. Now on this page we've got lots of evidence, uh, sorry, lots of information about Athena. So remember you're not copying it, you're using this to support you. So Athena was the goddess of wisdom, courage and crafts. Symbols, things that, pictures that would have linked to her. An owl, serpent, armour, olive tree, shield and the spear. Her parents were Zeus and Matthias. No children, not married, lives in Mount Olympus, and when the Romans came and changed the names of the Greek gods, they changed it to Minerva. Athena is a goddess in Greek mythology and one of the twelve Olympians. She is most famous for being the patron god of the city of Athens. Athena also helped many of the Greek heroes such as Hercules and Odysseus on their adventure. Athena was often depicted as a warrior goddess armed with a spear, a shield and a helmet. Sometimes she would be wearing a cloak or shield adorned with the head of the monster Medusa. Now there's a monster we've learned lots of information about. Like all the Olympians, Athena was an immortal goddess and could not die. She was one of the most intelligent and wisest of the Greek gods. She was also good at war strategy and giving heroes courage. Athena's special powers included the ability to invent useful items and crafts. She invented the ship, chariot, plough and rake. She also invented many of the skills used by women in ancient Greece, such as weaving and pottery. So you can use all of this information in your writing or you can do your own research, it's up to you. Now, if you're just starting the challenge, if you go to Class Dojo, there'll be information in the portfolio to build the wooden horse of Troy. When you've finished it, make sure you send evidence to Class Dojo so that I can see it. Well done.